Now, your Storm Tracker Team forecast with Kevin Smith. Hey, good Friday morning, everyone. Are you ready for some warm weather? And then we'll finally cool things back to average and then we we'll heat things back up. Let's take a look live here at what's happening, at least with our sky cam showing a little bit of those clouds that are pushing in with that southerly flow what we call onshore flow and from the south, even some areas of patchy fog developing across the area, but currently on the Doppler, no precipitation, even though we saw a little bit of some showers off toward the North Shore, making their way to the north of Interstate 12 as you make your way toward 59. Now the temp Temperatures. It's muggy, 70 degrees, but notice it's 52 in the new road. That's because of that warm front that's working in from the south to the north and the contrast of the dew points as well. We're sitting at a 69 dew point, 70 into Gonzales, but take a look at New roads, a 52 dew point. We're going to say goodbye to that slightly dry air. And the visibility is holding very good into Baton Rouge, but still back toward the Crescent City, uh, less than two miles or two and a half miles into Hammond. If you encounter that fog, use those low beams. Meanwhile, a little bit of shower activity and thunderstorms off toward the north of us once again as we're monitoring our storm system, which is still meandering out to the west of us. See this uh, area of snow and some rainfall. Now, this disturbance area of low pressure will quickly push our way as we travel toward tomorrow afternoon and evening into your Sunday morning. So here's the future cast. There's that warm front moving off toward the north today. That's where we're going to find the threat for some severe weather. And then as we move into your Saturday afternoon, the blue line will start to work in from the west to northwest. That will be our cold front that will quickly race off toward the south and east, clearing us out. So the SPC has us under a general thunderstorm risk today. And then tomorrow, a weather aware day, potential for a at least uh, some heavy rainfall, small hail, and even some isolated tornadoes would we'll keep advised on brproud.com, Facebook, as well as on Twitter. Let's take a look at that seven day forecast. As soon as we're done with this front, We'll clear it out for your Sunday and Monday, and then the rain chances return. Skater meter brought to us by South Vent, still showing some moderate levels. And meanwhile, we have those radio updates 24-7 iHeartRadio. Take a look.